Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, dogs. It's the best day of the week. It's now time for weather with Ivan. Good morning, hot dogs. It's currently 40 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 48. And at 3, it's going to be 55 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 57 and a low of 35. Sunday is going to be partly cloudy and a high of 62 and a low of 40. So a pretty good weekend. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. Today is the last day to purchase prom tickets for $20. They return to the price of $25 on Monday. Be sure you have a signed permission slip when you, with you when you purchase your tickets. Attention class of 2019. Senior portraits will be taking place on May 8th through the 10th. Sign up now. Any teacher in the building can help you sign up. Attention freshmen, if you're interested in joining Learning to Lead, Nancy Elsie will be in the FHS cafeteria Wednesday, May 3rd during community. Please talk to your community teacher if you are interested in attending this meeting. Looking for something to do this summer? Check out the Butler Way Leadership Camp, Monday, July 9th through Thursday, July 12th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This opportunity is for 9th through 11th graders. It's now time for sports with Nick. Thank you. Varsity baseball team fell 11 last night, 8-6. to six. The team ended up getting off to a slow start, but thanks to the great relief pitching from Jose Sandoval and Jesus Lopez, they were able to keep them in the game. The team is now 3-1 and one overall and is tied for first in the conference. The boys track and field team fell to Western Boone, while the girls were able to come out with a win. The winners were Nayeli Alanis, who broke the school record in the 200-meter dash, so congrats, that's awesome. And Colton Crum, who came first in the pole vault. Tierra Collins came first in the 100-meter hurdles. The boys team took first in the 4x800-meter relay. Jared Wells came first for the 2-mile and the 800-meter relay. Belisha Salee came first in the 2-mile, the 4x400-meter relay, and the 800-meter relay. And also, sorry if we missed any winners. The results are incomplete, and we will announce the rest of the winners later if there are any more. Also, a good luck goes out to the boys' golf, track, and track teams, as well as the girls' tennis team as they all prepare to uh, compete in their invitationals tomorrow. And if you're looking for anything to do over the weekend, make sure to stop by the baseball fields as the varsity baseball team will be taking on Crawfordsville at 11 in the morning tomorrow. So that's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. HGTV has upgraded to new equipment, so look forward to some changes coming soon. We also apologize for missing segments this week due to eye step testing and lack of time on Mondays and Fridays. There will be no DECA cookies sold until next Thursday. DECA apologizes for the inconvenience. Also, don't forget to attend the Spring Musical of Bye Bye Birdie starting next Wednesday, April 25th. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for tuning in to HGTV. Have a great day and a safe weekend. Good morning, guys. Uh, a lot of you know me from uh, either being in the classroom or me harassing you guys in the hallway, especially Mr. Cadman and Mr. Marsh. Uh, but I've had a lot of great times here at FHS, so let me just go ahead and say I can't take the best memory, so I'm sorry, but if you hear one, I'm sure I'll come up with one later. <laughs> one part of the hallway. But uh, my plans after high school were actually to join the Armed Forces, and it was going to be Army, but I had a few difficulties with that, so I actually ended up in the Marines, and I swore in. Actually, this past Friday, and I'm shipping out May 7th. Wow. Thanks, you guys. But uh, a lot of the teachers here really influenced my life. When I first showed up here, I was really anti-social, believe it or not. I didn't ever talk to anybody. And I'm sure you all think I'm lying, but I promise it's the truth. And uh, I only celebrate so many of you personally, but I don't have a whole lot of time right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and thank Mr. Potts and Mr. Quick, definitely. Um, without Mr. Potts, I don't think I would be in the physical shape I am right now to actually enlist, so I really appreciate that. I remember when I just I couldn't even lift the 45-pound bar and do anything, and I enlisted like 
120 pounds and doing all kinds of stuff. And Mr. Quick definitely for uh, pushing me in the right direction and giving me the best advice about whether or not to go in the Marines or the Army, so I definitely want to thank him for that. But most importantly, I want to thank all of you for all the work. We are positive production. <laughs>